How you doing everybody? Welcome back. And um, so one of our fans, Jessica, had uh, posted on our page something that she wanted us to check out. And what it is, it's ways to remove a Sharpie permanent marker uh, from, well, a whole list of things. Clothes, walls, wood, carpet, furniture, whiteboard, ceramic or glass. Well, we're not going to go marking up our our carpet just to test this theory and we're not definitely not going to try out our furniture and I might point out that uh, it's not really specific on what kind of furniture whether it be upholstered or leathered or you know so it's not really specific it's just really kind of vague it's everything that you would typically expect from a Facebook claim very vague and not directly but we are going to try out three of those the first one we're going to try out is uh, whether or not you can use rubbing alcohol to remove it from wood. I got some rubbing alcohol here. And I'm just going to get a paper towel. And we're going to just, like I said, it's very vague. It doesn't say specifically. But we're going to try some rubbing alcohol. It's removing it. But is it a magical cure? I don't think so. Didn't really seem to do too good. Don't want nobody to say we didn't just try alcohol right on there to see if it would come right off. Well, no rubbing didn't do anything. Try scrubbing it. I would say that's pretty much a fail. It did come off on the napkin a little bit, but it's definitely still on the wood. And uh, the next one here says clothes. Use hand sanitizer. Well, I got one of my favorite Grateful Dead tie-dyes. I don't mind if I get something on it, but it says for this one, if you use hand sanitizer, it'll take it out. Again, I'm very skeptical here. But we're going to use some hand sanitizer. Oh, it did something right away there. Oh yeah, it's really spreading it around there. <laughs> uh, um, well, I just added some color to my... Put it under water. Okay, I mean, I guess under that scenario, like I said, it's very vague. Let's try it under some water and see what happens. Really not much of an effect. Maybe it needed to sit for a little bit. I pretty much knew it wasn't going to do anything there. Just for the sake of argument. We'll let it sit for a minute, throw a little bit more on. <laughs> okay, moving on. This one was a happy accident. We actually <laughs> got it on our tile. And uh, so what we did is, for this one it says to use uh, one part toothpaste to one part baking soda. We put it in here. I had to add a, a drop of water because it wouldn't mix. I could not get the baking soda to mix with the toothpaste, so I added just a drop of water and it mixed pretty good there. So I'm going to use this toothbrush. And I don't want nobody to think I didn't use enough, so I'm going to put a lot on there. And, wow, it looks after like a little bit of work there we have a positive result okay so out of the three I would say this one definitely works this one definitely works hmm and I'm just gonna point out that it's really not that easy to get it off of this tile now that I know that it works <laughs> I tried, when I first did that, I tried taking one of these. I 
and I guess it was about that dry. I tried taking one of these and it really didn't come off that well. See, and now it's still kind of wet. So I would call that a definite positive result. Wow, confirmed. Maybe you should use the part baking soda and toothpaste on your shirt and on the wood. Let's see how that does. That's a good idea. Yeah. You know what? That stuff is just... It's just soaked into the wood there. Right. It's not, you know, that's... That's not coming out. That's there. Anyways. There you go, Jessica. Thank you for watching. Uh, make sure you uh, subscribe to subscribe to our channel. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Check out our Facebook page if you haven't seen it already. And please, we want your feedback. Um, feel free to post to our page. Give us ideas and share. Thank you very much.